Click it fast enough. I've clicked it many times as well. It's just that's it's just it's either too fast, too slow. You know what how it is. We got one going too fast, too slow, and it went through. Again, yeah. they said reverse a move. I'm gonna top that corner, but it's okay. It's gonna be okay, John. It's gonna be fucking okay. The Payday Champion would like to watch this match. What? So the Payday Champion would like to watch this match. Oh, alright, alright, nigga. <laughs> like I said, when Nicky Saban climbs his way back to the top, he can get first crack at Tolbert. Like I said, the baby champion can go fuck himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I got my fucking drink. I got my fucking horrible gummy bears. Let's fucking go. This is gonna be water for the fucking ages. Did y'all niggas make your championship match with tires? No. No. It's okay. There's gonna be a fucking spot for that Here we go! Come on, fucking load! <laughs> John, I have to let you know, just before whatever happens, happens. If I win, good match. And if I lose, I will be informing the police where you live. I know, I know times and tensions are high right now. I am aware. And I want you to stay absolutely 100% safe. But I will not be held responsible for what they do once they do find out where you live. Because I'll have to let them know. Because you'll have to be a fucking criminal and do some undermined fucking shit to beat me. <laughs> but, you know, let's hope it doesn't have to come to that. You know? It's, it's Tax Tuesday. You know? It's... It's a great day to be the gladiator, Vince Peters. I'm being like hella loud. I'm being hella loud right now. Look at him, an Adonis, a blessing from the gods, Athena. All I'm gonna say is Benji's just hoped Vince Peters wins this match because uh. <laughs> I don't know if you forgot, Jordan, but uh, Vince Zeus and Vince Peters got a fish. Making his way to the uh, ring no, 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 from the city of Atlantis, <laughs> I mean, weighing I mean, in at 300 pounds. Yeah, that, that one time uh, he hopped Probably over the spear and made yeah. him tap, 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 tap the Michael, night away. A lot of times you'll see a competitor yep. lurking in yep. the weeds, yep. just waiting for the right time to well. strike. Once, 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 these once these he's done with this do, fucking I we'll see any of them standing scum. by idly here tonight. Fucking bitch ass fucking tar covered pool noodle <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking shit now because in the event that I lose in like 10 minutes it'll be really embarrassing so I uh I'll just say uh have fun out there and uh yeah Vince Peters nah bro I'm a tar covered pool noodle I, 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 you know, I didn't say all that. I, uh, I, mean, I mean, I didn't say it. He said it, you know? You said it? Yeah, I, I didn't say it.
I don't even have my sound on, and I already, I can just feel the. Oh! And then, and then Aiden Clark looks over to his left, and it's just like like two people holding up the bla uh, the black pool section. <laughs> and, then two, and then some other fans fucking ball those niggas, and you just see them get picked in half. Guys, the upcoming triple threat, threat match um, should be nothing short um, of spectacular. Uh, yeah, especially considering what a victory yeah. could do for the career of the superstar who walks out of here with the You're win. You're really missing a logo on the back of that jacket. I don't know. What is he missing? A logo. Oh. And his opponents, first from London, weighing in at 220 pounds. The Butcher, sure. Aiden Clark. And this is for all the marvelous, the prestigious AA, they paid it, cash out championship. Here we go with this huge triple threat match. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, look at the gate. Harsh impact. Oh, look, you look, gotta look, believe look, this look, one's look, over. Look, 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 look. Just careless intent. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment like this, and who knows what you're liable to see. Damn, John taking a rest. You mentioned the triple threat rules earlier. Well, this they match type became popular in the 1990s when it also went by names like the triangle match in WCW or a three-way dance in ECW. When we talk about a triple threat match, something else about the stipulations that's important to include is that the match can also be contested under elimination rules. For more than 25 years, triple threat style matches have been mainstays in sports entertainment. Triple threats are utilized to crown a champion, establish a number one contender, or just to settle a score between oh three God. superstars who can't get along. Triple threat matches have also been decided inside 15-foot high steel cages with ladders and in Please tag team competition. Please have mercy. Oh, Peter's gonna kill you. Just launched. Oh boy, he is rolling. <laughs> oh, shit. This might be it. Oh my. Black pool bitch. Black pool bitch. Black pool bitch. Oh. oh. Guys, you never know what you're going to see in a match like this. And if you need proof of that, just mm. go back to watch Daniel Bryan versus Kane no, from God, Extreme Rules smart. 2014. <laughs> I said he's smart. This is not good at all. I don't have you walking funny. 
game, set, match. This oh, one is over. That's one of the most yeah, effective was, stretches you will ever see. That, 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 the triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship was another example of the incredible competition between the female superstars of WWE. Charlotte was physically dominant in fighting off the challenges of Bailey and Sasha Banks. At one point, the Queen even landed a moonsault on both their opponents at the same time. But the boss and Bailey put it all on the line and kept fighting. There were several near pinfalls during this battle, but in the end, as it should be, the Queen exhibited her genetic superiority by fighting off both her challengers. After drilling Bailey with a boot to the face, the Queen pinned the hugger and retained her Raw Women's Championship. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. He just like out of the way of the fucking chaos. When it comes to oh. matches like this, I'd say the more innovative a superstar is when it comes to offense, the better chance they have of victory. A black pool, low light. Huh? the reversal. Oh, look at beautiful technique. This one is over. As Byron mentioned, innovation certainly is a key in a match like this. A competitor can't be adverse to taking action outside the ring. By no means is this your traditional contest. No, it's not, Cole, but at the same time, you still win this match the old-fashioned way by pinfall or submission. Eludes that one. Oh boy, he is oh. Looks like he's awakened from his coma. Oh god. In the slam. Oh boy, oh, he is god. Looking at it. Oh, what a close line. Oh, Forcefully god. delivered. That should do it. Right across double X handle smash. This is fucking crazy. Real quick oh, reminder, guys, oh there are no disqualifications God. and no count-outs in this one. Anything oh is legal. Oh, and there are enough weapons under the ring to fill an armor. As Corey mentioned, there's a treasure trove of weapons under the ring. Everything from kendo sticks to steel chairs to fire extinguishers. If you can think about it, it's probably under there. And when that's the case, it's not a matter of if you're going to get hurt. It's a matter of how badly you're going to get hurt. Of course, Extreme Rules matches have resulted in some gruesome moments over the years, and perhaps none was more gruesome than in 2012 when Brock Lesnar busted John Cena open following a vicious attack. Oh my god! Here we go, back inside the ring. Oh, look at it. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. The triple threat match from Vengeance featuring the Rock, the Undertaker, Three, took two. advantage of the no count out the and no really. disqualifications. Yes! Takes it! Who the hell is gonna stop Vince Peters? And then, you know, but stops the fucking guardrail, you know, shows the, shows the fucking security that he has ticket. Gets in the ring, stares down, gets Peter's security chest to separate him. Which just gets in a punch to separate him. Oh, this is fucking crazy. Oh, this is Your winner and new cash out champion, Vince fucking Peters. In storyline, that was definitely the way it had to go. the way it went made sense, you know, you get the Peters, uh, you got beaten by the Sly move, and then it was a go for Kevin Owens move. Good match, nigga. But you know, Aiden Clark is still one of the top heels, you know. 
come back. 